Based on this viewer comment, I'm going to show you how to completely blur out a face using Moves Dash and Video Leap. Just make sure you turn the blur up to 100%. To do this, you'll need Moves Dash and Video Leap. First, open Moves Dash, tap on the camera, tap Video, tap Camera Roll, and select your video clip. Tap on it and tap select and bring it into the project. Then move this slider up to 100% once you've selected the type of blur that you want. Then tap on save. Because this is a free app, you will see an ad. Let it play and then close it afterwards. There's an example of the pixelate blur option offered in Video Leap. There's the ad. Just tap on close. Tap on done. And close move dash and open Video Leap. Tap on the plus sign to add your original video clip into the main timeline. Then tap on Mixer and add the blurred video clip. Scrub back and forth to make sure that the clips line up exactly. You can see that they do. Next, select the clip on the top, swipe over and tap on Transform. Then choose Fit so that the blurred clip fits over the screen. Scrub back and forth once more to check that the clips line up properly. Tap on the back arrow to return to the Clip Options toolbar. Then swipe over to the right and select Mask. You'll want to choose Radial. The mask widget will appear. Pinch and zoom using two fingers to resize and adjust the position of the mask widget so that the face you want to blur out is covered. I'm going to make the widget big enough to surround Monique's head. I recommend that you do this in your videos. This will account for any movement made during the video. Play the clip to see if there's any points in your video where the face of your subject appears outside of the mask widget. If this happens, you'll need to use keyframes so the face isn't revealed at any point during the video. This part can be time consuming and tedious but the more attention to detail you put in, the better off your result's going to be, so take your time. As you can see, there's a couple of spots where Monique's face appears outside of the mask widget. If you do this with the upper clip selected, you'll be able to use the mask widget as a guide. Once your clip is finished, go back to the beginning of the clip and tap on the keyframe icon to add your first keyframe. I'm going to speed this up and add the rest of the keyframes. All of the keyframes have been added. I'll play the clip once more and notice that Monique's face remains blurred throughout this entire video. Because the blur is set to 100%, you cannot see her face at all. The video freezes for a second and then continues to play. Tap on export to export your clip. Then I'm going to 
choose a resolution by moving the resolution slider to 1080p. The video is recorded in 30 frames per second, so that's fine. Then I'll tap on save and wait for the export to finish. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. The video was successfully exported. Let's have a look at the final clip. I've zoomed in so you can see it better. If you want to watch my previous video, tap or click the YouTube card on screen now. Do you have a comment or question? Put it below in the comment section. For more great tutorials like this one, check out the links in the video description or one of these recommended videos.